Hi, Gary Olson. Welcome to the studio. We've got another great opportunity to do a, a landscape today. And uh, this landscape is, once again, from the Great River Road that extends all the way from uh, northern Minnesota all the way to the Gulf of Mexico to New Orleans. And uh, the Great River Road passes right through my hometown of Dubuque, Iowa. And uh, just north and south of the city of Dubuque, which is located in the tri-state area, uh, that borders Wisconsin, Illinois, and Iowa uh, is some of those beautiful views along the river. I would say the area between Winona, Minnesota and uh, possibly Clinton, Iowa, that stretch of river is absolutely spectacular. Some of those beautiful views in America. And I guess that's why the Mississippi River is one of the things that a lot of foreign visitors want to see, uh, among other things like the Grand Canyon and the Empire State Building. Uh, it's really quite remarkable. In any event, uh, my view is from my favorite place, which is up the Balltown Road. This is right from Balltown, where the famous Brightbox restaurant is located. Uh, Brightbox Country Dining, Mike Brightbox, he's a, a relative of my wife's. and. Uh, we're going to uh, go just north of that at the highest promontory in Iowa, which is the very top of uh, the Great River Road, uh, that hill uh, on the Balltown Road. And it's looking east toward Wisconsin. There's some farms and some animals and things like that. My sketch that I've been working on now for about an hour is pretty loose because this is a kind of a subject that is best detailed with a brush in my hand rather than a pencil. A fantastic tool that I have with me all the time, well, I often wonder what Leonardo da Vinci would have done with something like this, is my tablet. Oh, 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 I love my tablet. This is a Samsung, and I can gain access to all my photo references no matter where they are because I'm hooked up to a program called Dropbox, and all my photographs that I take with my cell phone or my camera are automatically uploaded to Dropbox, and then when I come home, I can bring it up on my computer and I can do things like this. I can take, the, take a look at the detail on that barn, for example, and I can see the cows, and there's a fence line, which I normally wouldn't have seen or even paid attention to, but if I'm after that detail, it's all right there. So this could be the artist's best friend, without a doubt. I'm very fond of underpainting using acrylic paint, and in this particular case, we're using Royal Langenickel Artist Paint Acrylic Cerulean Blue. Thick. That is thick paint. Okay, let's get the white and blend the white in there if we can. Okay, now for the bottom layer, we are going to mix ultramarine blue and black. That seems to work best for my underpainting. Now, believe it or not, we put this on in a fairly thin wash, and it looks dark, but you can still see the drawing behind it. Every once in a while, I dip into the water to My horizon line, so yeah. I'm afraid that might be too thick. In which case, we need to have water ready because I don't want it to dry up on me. Well, there we go. It's important that I see the drawing underneath. This is a bristle brush, which means that it's a little stiffer. I like it because it, I'm not after a smooth finish. I'm after getting the paint to cover this canvas, which is quite textured. 
and there we go. Smoothing out the Perfect. Well, the lower half of the painting is uh, nearly complete. I'll be doing more touches on it as the days uh, go by. But now I'm concentrating on the sky. And the sky has to complement the lower part of that painting, the, the, the earth. And uh, you don't want it to look like two separate paintings were slapped together. So let's see how we do on uh, this critical aspect of the composition the sky and the clouds.
Well, this was really a lot of fun. I enjoyed it immensely. Thanks for joining us on Gary Olson's studio. You know, creating art is one of the greatest things you can do as a human being, I think. Don't worry about how it looks or how it turns out. It's the process, not the destination. Thanks for joining us on the studio. We'll see you next time.